Fellow St. Lucians, we are beginning to see a leveling off in the trend of daily increases in COVID-19 cases here in St. Lucia. As you are aware, we also confirm that the Omicron variant is present in our population and has spread widely throughout our country. We are holding discussions with major social partners and the COVID-19 Management Center will present suggestions to the cabinet for major adjustments to our COVID-19 management policies as we take steps to integrate COVID-19 management measures into our daily lives for the long term. We need to hasten the downward trend of daily positive cases and therefore, after consultation with the COVID-19 Management Center, the Cabinet has decided on the following protocols for the next two weeks from Saturday, February 5th, 2022 up to Friday, February 18th, 2022. In an effort to prevent the spread of COVID-19, a person shall remain confined to their place of residence Mondays to Saturdays from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. each day and Sundays from 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. the following day. It means a business establishment shall cease operation on Mondays to Saturdays at 9 p.m. and on Sundays at 5 p.m. An educational institution shall continue to operate as stated in the Education Act. A person shall not host or attend a mass crowd event, competitive or high contact sporting activity or social event. A person can host a small event that consists of no more than 25 people, including persons of his or her immediate family at his or her residence, or fully vaccinated persons at his or her residence. A faith-based organization may hold a daily or regular religious ceremony and should comply with the square footage allowed in keeping with their COVID-19 response plan. A person shall not hold religious rites, including baptisms, weddings, and funerals by physical attendance unless there are no more than 100 persons in attendance. A person shall not play loud music in accordance with the criminal code. A certified accommodation provider may provide recreational or social activities during the hours as specified under the COVID-19 order. A certified accommodation provider or an approved tourism establishment may permit a fully vaccinated person access to the services offered by the provider or establishment. All other protocols remain in effect. The government of St. Lucia urges everyone to follow the protocols and cooperate with the authorities. Let us all work together to ensure that we reduce the spread of COVID-19 in St. Lucia. I thank you very much.